Hello, welcome to my online classroom. It's Valentine's Day once again. Today we are making a Valentine pop-up box card. This is what it looks like. So, let's get started. Things that you will need. Your scissors. Pencil. Your Elmer's glue. Paper clip. Ruler and a folded napkin. Okay. Things that you will get in your package will include piece, piece of one strip of back to back tape, one circle, Two leaves, one, two, three, four flowers, and two little bling that's to put on top of your flower. Two strips of red bling, one, two, three, four red squares. Two pieces of color paper and two pieces of roses and one foam hat which you can peel off. One oval lacy piece. You will get one red hat, a bow, some white hats. I want big white hats. Two pieces of ribbon. Two pieces of short white. Two pi um red, sorry. Two pieces of long red. Two pieces of white cardstock, one short and one long. Two pieces of red and yellow with little pockets already attached to it. Also, you'll get two strips of white with four score lines. One, two, three, four. And you will have some squiggly pen marks on them for guidance on both sides. One piece of white with also four score lines. And little pen squiggly marks for guidance. Also, I will do this piece of delicate sticking for you. So let's get started. First we will start with the big white piece with the, with the tab on the left side. We are going to attach with the tab on the left side we are going to attach the two yellow these two pieces here now you have to make sure that it don't cross the score lines it must rest in the middle if it cross over to the score line then it will go on this side like this and it will not look tidy so it must be within the two score lines okay so let's glue this down You can use a small piece of paper if you have lying around to spread your glue evenly on the edges making sure that when you put it down it will stick properly okay use your napkin to 
have to press it on so it will stick properly like that remember the pocket has to be underneath same like this okay Time. Just rest it down first before pressing it so that way you can maneuver it. Right? When you feel it's correct, press it down. Use your napkin like this. Okay? Okay, now you need the two short red. Okay, so I'm sticking this piece now. Sticking this one. You have to let it go just underneath. You're not going to stick it on the tab. This is called a little tab. You're not going to stick it on top of that. You're going to go just underneath it like this. You have making sure that it is not like this you don't want any white here let's go straight up straight up to the edge like this center it let's have a little white here and a little white here okay so let's stick that This is just to make sure the glue spread even. Okay. Just rest it down first before pressing it down. Make sure the top is good. Make sure you have a little white on this side, a little white on that side. Give it a little press with your thumb and then use your napkin to gently rub it down. Okay. Just like that. Next one now, I'll go just underneath here. Okay, just remember you're not covering this. You're just going between the space here. You're gonna cover this tab with this. Okay, so let's stick the next piece. Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay, turn it over now, flip it so now the tab is on the right side. Okay, so if it is like this, hold it like this and flip it over so the tab is on the right side. All right, so it will look like this. Open it out. Now these two pieces here, you have two red, which is going to stick here. Now if you notice, underneath it's not fitting all the way down, but that's okay because this is the top. Alright, so we're going to stick this here. Make sure it falls within the, within the score lines. 
Apply a glue and use your little bit of piece of cardboard to spread the glue evenly. Okay, I'm not even rest it down. Make sure it's touching the edge of this on the top. On the two sides must be within the two score lines. Use your napkin to press it down. Now, because this card stuck in the back is brown, you have to use a little extra glue because it's much thicker than the than the white. The brown back is much thicker, so you need a little more glue to hold it in place. Not too much, otherwise it will slide away, as you know. So now, line it up. Right there. Like that. Press it with your fingers a little. Right, use a napkin to press it in. Like that. Alright? So now we have this, and we have this. Alright? in this piece where this this pen mark is on this tab you're going to put the glue on this side like so all right flying glue here even it down just hold it with your finger fold this in half when you fold it you must see only the two halves white the two halves of a red we just uh, press it down onto this like so make it stand up and make sure it is flush on top put it down using a napkin using a napkin to stick it up all right all right so now this is what we have you have to make sure it is properly stuck down so you'll have this Okay, this is the outside. All right, all right. So now put this aside for the time. Now you're gonna bring in these two pieces. Okay, these two. You wanna make sure that your tab. stay right or your tab is towards you okay your tabs will be here and you'll have a a circle a x a x a circle all right so bring in these pieces now this this is going here this one is going here and this one is coming here and this one is coming here okay so remember the tab this tab with this little pen mark has to be towards you closer to you bring it down all right and then we're going to place it like this and this is coming here this is coming here, this is coming here. all right so now let's glue it in. Now remember, you have score lines here also. See the score line here, like that, right? So this one here, you can peel it off. Peel it off. Grasp it with your with fingers here, like this. Okay. And now you're gonna. You're not putting on the whole thing, you're just holding it like this and rest it in the edge first. 
press it like this making sure your center in it you get a little white on right or wrong then press it here release and stick it down where's the next little circle here you're gonna put this one now you can change it around but I just choose to do it like this okay make sure it is center and hold it in your hand press it like this when you stick down then press it down stick it on okay this is going to come here and this is going to come here so let's put some glue okay and then you're going to stick it down within the score line all right so it will be like this see that all right Within this color lines, it also white right around like this. See that? Like this. Right? Use a napkin to just get a little rub, not too hard because you don't want the paper to get squib um, wrinkled. Right? So that is this. Now turn it over like this like that right the tabs are still towards you all right the tabs are still here but you have four one two three four four boxes bring in this and these are gonna go here one two three four we'll turn this core line Let's go on to sticking that. Okay. Make sure you center it in the center of the two score lines. Right. Then you're going to use a napkin to press it out of Alright. Next one. Next one is going to here. Center of the score line. Do not cover the score line. Remember, it do not cover the score line, otherwise, it will not be able to move. Okay. This one, this paper is also a little thick, so you'll need to put a good amount of glue, not too much, just enough. Okay. Press it down. Press it first, then you can take it up. Okay, just press it. Okay, so it's in, within this core line. If you cross this core line, it will not be able to bend. completed this task let's go on out to stick in it hold the stab like this I'm just gonna turn it this way okay fold the tab up put that glue there pull it down and fold it in half like this 
Easy napping. So gently. Right. Then she'll get like that. Like this. Okay. Put on your glue here. No, I just turn it so you can see how I'm holding down this. Fold it in half. When you fold it, you will only see these two patterns on it. Sand it up to make sure it's flush. Press it down. And then press it. we have this all right you can see through it there you go all right So with that done, we put this aside now. I'm gonna bring in a circle. Your flowers. Your two little bling and your back to back tape. And your leaves. Now remember, this is how this will look here. Like this. See this here? Alright, so let's fix that. So first now, you're going to put some glue onto your little leaf. Each one of you might get a different leaf, but you can work with that. Okay, that's the leaf here. And that's the leaf here. Like this. Okay. Now, when you get when you get this, you have to use your paper clip to punch out the little these little circles like this. Just use it to punch them out like that. Okay. All right. So then it will look like this. So, these two are the same, these two are the same, just this one has holes in it, this one you also has to punch out all these little pieces in the center, like this, see that, see, punch all this, right? take your time because it will be, it's easy to get, it, it will tear easily, alright? So you have to punch out all of those. So take one piece of tape, peel it off, stick it on this one, like so. Peel off this one. Now, when you're gonna rest this here, offset it so it looks not. It will look like that. All of these will be not aligned. Uh, like this okay like that and just rest this like that too. right put that there but well, this one is a little too small so you will need to just break off break off one of this one of your your back to back and just cut it in half Right, peel it off, stick it on the solid, pull off back the stick, and just offset it on this one like this, just like that. 
so now you have your two okay like that great now take a back to back tape now flip it over put one here flip it over put another here right and we'll peel it off and rest it here like that peel this off okay it will it will kind of go over on the other one that's fine just like that now with just a little bling here make sure you nail dig into the plastic so you'll get the glue off and put it in the center here do the same with the other like this so this is your flower put it aside you're gonna bring in these two pieces and your two pieces of ribbon you're gonna thread your ribbon through this like this okay Thread it in and make a double knot just like this. Thread it in right here. Okay. okay. I'll try to give it a little longer ribbon if you give you trouble to tie. Alright, so then you have this. Take your scissors and go underneath the shiny. Do not go underneath like this. See this? And just curl the rubber on a little bit. Like that. Alright. Curl the rubber. Alright. So there you have two pieces. Let's finish. So now. this piece now punch out the tabs and punch out the pop all those pieces so it will look like lace okay take your time So you have this. Alright. Alright. So I'm bringing this box now. I forgot to say you will get one of these also all right so behind this one now you're gonna put a peel off a back to back and put it down here like this bring in this piece where this tab is now this piece when you peel it is gonna stick onto this so peel this off pop the backing off and just center stick that right there okay 
Right. So now, bring in these two pieces. So, you're going to lay this flat like this after sticking this rest of scissors here just to hold it down. And this has to come here. This has to come here. Like this. Okay? Like that. Okay? So, press it like this. So you'll have a pattern on top and you'll have a pattern on top. Here you'll have to go white. Okay? So look at it carefully now. When it stands like this, you must see this and this. Okay, that means you have to put, stick this piece onto this, like that. So take your glue, apply some glue here, okay, right? Make sure you're not crossing this line here. Okay? And make sure you're not crossing that there. Okay. And then you have to carry it up so you make sure you come back, come down to the edge. Like this. Alright, so you'll be in line with this and in line with this. Alright? Okay. So then you will have this. Test it out first before you stick it so that way you will be sure. Alright? Then look like that or like this. Okay? So in this one now, just rest it. Now if you rest it like this, you know that it's wrong. Okay? You must have white underneath and a piece of white to white. Okay? So it have to look like this. Then you know that now when you move this, you're going to put glue here. All right. All right. Put it down. And rest it here. Make sure it's even in the underneath. And it's not crossing this line here. So press it like that. Okay. Alright. So then you'll pop it like this. So now. You know you're right when you have. You can see two red. And the four pieces like this. Then you know you are correct. Okay. So then you will have this. Now flatten it back. Take this. Oops, where did I put my tape? Okay. Take a back to back tape now. Stick it. Stick it behind. You'll need two for this one. Put one here. And put one here. Pop them out. Like this. Okay. Now, hold it here. And you're going to go underneath this piece. Like this. Yes, I like that. Okay. If you don't like it there, you go a little higher. So that's it right there. Okay, so it went it went underneath this. All right. I think I prefer this one. Okay. Take a happy Valentine. I don't know which shape you're gonna get, but average behind this Valentine. No, let's put it here. 
got that back to back tape here. Peel it off. Hold it in your hand and average it. Mm, I don't like that one. I think I like this one. But let's see. Average it so you can still see some of piece of the lazy o the, the lacy oval. Okay, so it, it looks nice like that. Alright. Bring off bring your foam hearts. Peel off the back. And I'm going to put it here. Right there. Like that. Okay. Bring in the bring in your blade. Take off the roll. Make sure that you press your nails into the plastic so that you get up all the glue. Alright. And now I'm gonna put mine here. I'm gonna put one here. Hold it in your hand and make a little turn like that. Okay. Peel off this one. Press it down. Come down and make a little turn like this. Alright? Like that. Bring in your hat. Whichever ones, I don't know how many you would get. I'm sure you'll get a few. Okay? Uh, you should get a bow. If you do get a bow, you can put a little glue on this bow here. And you can stick it right about here. On the... Okay? Now, I always lose that um, Where is it? Oh, there it is. This hat, this one will have some tiny little hats. Pop them out. Do not throw them out. Okay. Alright. You just end up with some hats. So now you have this one. Put some glue here in between, like that. I'm just gonna rest mine here. Right? Then you have a white one. I'm just gonna try to. Now you can put it how you want. You can arrange it to suit. But I'm just arranging this like this. Here. I'll put another one here. Okay. And all the little red ones, you can put a little dot here, a dot here. You know, maybe a little difficult to pick up. But you can try. Okay. Waste them just just make use of it on your car. Alright? I won't stick all, but you can stick them to suit so you have extra. Alright. So that's your card. Alright, so it will be like that. Then you can fold it up like this. Mix it like that. Turn it over. Okay. Flatten down this back. Turn it to the back. We're gonna take this. And stick it in here right in there it's for you to write your greeting okay take this and pop it in like that and that's it if this one is this one is a little too long so let's cut off a little piece right and just stick it in here right so you have two places to write. This is your card that is folded. You can pop it like that. Pop it like this. And there you go. You have your Happy Valentine's pop-up box card. Well, thank you for tonight. Hope you enjoy this class. See you soon. Bye.
Happy Valentine's.